Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Return to Monkey Island. So in the last episode we managed to get past the customs ship, and then enter the cold and arctic island of Bermuda, ruled by the Ice Queen Odina the Ninth. And she has one of the golden keys that we are after. The golden key is on her crown, and to get the crown we, we must become the queen ourselves, and to become the queen we must beat the current queen uh, uh, in, the, in the three... I was about to say three trials, but in three contests. Let's see, what were they again? So we had to beat her in the contest of heartiness, seriousness, and then, uh, wait, heartiness, seriousness, and intelligence. Yeah, that was the third one. So we have to beat her in all of those three uh, contests, contests before we can become the queen ourselves and then get the crown and thus the key. Yeah, and then we also try to go and visit Stan, but we can't do that just yet because we have to get our guy process half of the picture here so we can prove to the guard that we know Stan. So yeah, without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game here and set sail once again. So let's let's go and try to beat the queen in one of the three uh, uh, contests already. Let's try and beat her in the contest of hardiness. Where we have to eat tons of fish. More than her. So, to the town hall. And it was... Mm, I think it was this room. Heart in this room, yes. Okay, let's place the... We have the right fish, right? Today's contest of hardiness will feature bloater. Yeah, okay. So, so th these are the right fish. The fish that we bought from... The former pirate leaders. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, a challenge! In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood, Esquire. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Look in the pocket of plenty. It's filled with bloaters. You will also need a fish. Okay, yeah. well, let's take one. This looks like a good one, relatively speaking. And now, let the eating commence! Just think of it as sushi. Oh, tastes like grief. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. the winner and still champion, Queen Odina. Yeah, I knew that it was it was not going to be that easy. We have to do something else to beat her. Uh, do we still have the fish there? No. We have to place the fish there again. But we have to do something with the fish first. We can't just cook the fish, right? Because they have to be raw. Yeah. Mm, how about... There's some rotten fish or fish bones over here. A bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. How about if we combine? Can we combine them? Um, does it look like it? No. They're semi bloated. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not sure what to do. What to do about this fish? I was supposed to, I don't know, spice them up so they are more tolerable. Gross. Looks like day old avocado soup. Mm, okay. Uh, how about demon pepper? That ought to give it some zip. Okay. Maybe this time. But we also have to eat the fish still, right? Maybe we can now eat the fish because they are spiced up a little bit, but the queen can't because she can't handle uh, spicy food, I suppose. Okay. Let's try this again. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 
This may be a bit spicy. And now, let the eating commence! Let's see what happens. <coughs> oh, the queen doesn't <coughs> like it. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, it seems that both contestants are having some trouble. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants may now seek medical attention if they so desire. Okay, um, so that's so that's that's what happened. I was wondering that <clears throat> that can can we also eat the spicy uh, fish ourselves? But uh, maybe maybe we maybe we're supposed to do something to the fish that we put on the plate. Hmm. Can't still can't use that. How about lime? No. We have to do something else to this fish. I loaded them with demon pepper. Or just to our own fish. Hmm. Well, um. Not sure how to proceed from here. L let's do a quick test once again. Actually, so we place this fish here. Okay, we still have some leftover. Maybe we maybe we should have. Hmm. Actually, no. Inspect the bloaters. I loaded them with demon pepper. Can we cut them? No. Can we remove the demon demon pepper somehow? Mm, pointy. I'm staying far away from this. Hey, what happened to the ice sculpture? Who's the idiot who placed a torch next to an ice sculpture? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's melted because we <clears throat> because we actually uh, lit this torch. Can we combine it with the, that? No. We may have to get some more fish, or at least make this fish uh, more tolerable to eat. You know what? How about we try the other the other trials? This is the trial of uh, intelligence, where we have to learn algebra. I guess. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Welcome, your majesty and Mr. Threepwood to the contest of intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. <clears throat> 20 seconds, you say? Okay, so we don't so we don't have to do anything. Oh, we have to I don't have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra problem. Uh I guess it, I guess that we have to swap the papers. Yeah, that must be it. Probate order? No. No. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood has drawn three straight lines and a squiggle. Queen Odina <laughs> is the winner. Better luck next time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we may have to switch the papers with Queen Odina's, but we have to distract her somehow. And we have this... Uh, we have this fire going on here, but how does that help? Can we put some demon pepper in there? No. Hmm. No idea. Okay, let's do this again. Or can we study it? Study it? I mean, I guess this is algebra. I actually have no idea. Now, yeah, okay. 
I didn't think a Kuipers could be that smart. Well, I'm not that. I'm not much. I'm not much I will smarter either. In Twenty seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Okay, so we wait for her. Swap the queen's algebra paper with mine. Oh, that actually worked. Well, that was time's up. I'll easy. take your papers. Hmm. Hmm. I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threeput is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Okay, so that was surprisingly easy. One contest down, two to go. Yeah, took my words, uh, took the words out of my mouth. And then here we have the. Oh, meanwhile. Oh, hey, Elaine. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. Assuming you're real, of course. Just because I can see it doesn't necessarily mean you're real. Case in point. You'll never guess who I thought was here in the cave stealing my golden key. But then he just vanished. Which is something hallucinations do that real people generally don't. Come to think of it, though, uh, where is that key? I, I had it right here. And there aren't that many places it could have gone. Hmm, okay. So Elaine found Herman Toothrot. Hopefully she uh, helped helped him out of the cave too. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, so this is the So this is the place where we perform the contest of seriousness. The one who laughs first uh, loses. Well, let's see how this works. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present for only the eleventh time this week, the contest of seriousness. Yip -yip. <laughs> yeah! On Yip this Yip. side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda, and on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood Esquire, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Okay, that was quite bad. Is that the best you have got? It'll take more than that to crack me up. Yeah, is that the... Yeah, it, it'll take more than that. It'll take more than that to crack me up. Tell the queen a joke, okay. What do you call a parrot with one leg? Why can't the ocean take off its boots? What's the difference between a swappy and a mop? I was about to tell you a joke, but I can't think of a good one. Well, let's go with this. What's the difference between a swabby and a mop? Heard it. You might oh. as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants, the time limit has been reached. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. See ya. Now we can only tell one joke. <clears throat> okay. So she said she has heard every joke in the world. Do we need to find a joke book? Hmm. Well, I don't have a joke book or anything of the sort with me. Okay, well, and I still don't know what to do about the these bloaters. Now, now that they are spiced up with demon pepper. Maybe I need to consume something so I can actually eat these bloaters with ease. But what, what could that be? This, maybe? I mean, this is made of... What was this made... What was this ma made of again? Gross. Looks like day-old avocado soup. Hmm, okay. Well, it can't hurt to try. Okay, let's try this again and see how it goes. 
If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. This may be a bit spicy. And now, let the eating commence! Oh, okay, so I can't actually do any, anything after I have picked up the fish. <laughs> just take, just take a well, couple more bites. It seems that both contestants are having some trouble. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants may now seek medical attention if they so desire. Hmm. Okay, well, I highly doubt that this is going to help. This one specifically. So we have to do something before we take out we take out take out our own fish from the bucket and put it on the plate. All right, Roger that. Hmm. Okay, so well, let's think about how to make the queen laugh. Now uh, we have so we may have to find a joke book of some kind, possibly. And I was thinking that. Maybe one of the books Carla has in her library. Um, maybe one of those books could work. Actually, let's go to Scurvy Island real quick. Elaine is still here, okay. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? You wouldn't happen to have a mop, would you? <clears throat> uh, no, not anymore. I made my own, but then I left it on the Chuck ship. Yeah, let's be honest. I made my own, but then I left it on LeChuck's ship. It was awesome. I used a shrunken head for the top part. No problem. I don't actually need one. I was just curious. Mm-hmm. What do you think of Stan Stanman as a marketing advisor? What do you think of Stan Stanman as a marketing advisor? He's in jail, but maybe he can look at the pamphlet anyway? That guy could sell fleas to a dog and probably would. Just what we need, actually. Good idea. Hmm, okay. You said a seagull carried away my half of the picture of us? It flew into the lime groves. So far, I haven't found it. Sorry. Have you checked the map? Well, guess we'll, guess we'll leave for now. Love you. Love you. You too. I mean, just look at the map. You can see, it, you can see it's right there. So, let's go and de try and deal with this bucker. Let's see. Let's try to lure it with the fish. <laughs> yeah, that did the trick all right. It's a torn painting of me. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. There we go. And then we uh, add it here. Oh my. Yeah, that works. That works. Hope, let's hope that the guard doesn't get any funny ideas. Okay, that was easy enough. And now, let's go to Carla's mansion real quick. Alright, so what books did you have here? Deadliest tale of the voyage that would, that would not end. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Okay. Voodoo tricks you can do at home. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. <laughs> ship to ship combat strategies. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Ingredients. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Uh, the big book of treasure maps. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Mm. The autobiography of John Laney. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. And at the end of the blank. The blurb says it's a solid if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Okay, so these are not uh, joke books. Okay. Well, so much from that. Okay, so do we just go back to... Uh, 
Do we just go back to Bermuda and go and meet with Stan? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, Mr. Guard, here's your proof. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend Stan together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. <laughs> All clear. Nice. <clears throat> I, I like how they broke like uh, a portion of the upper part of the uh, of the door so that it, so that so that it, it wouldn't uh, and crash and destroy the guards outpost here or guard house okay let's enter the ice quarry and look for Stan well these people are not are not dressed properly for this climate it's like Siberia ask about Stan seen Stan way in the back oh these people actually talk like normal people Oh, I tried to click here, and it, uh, and it just ran here. Okay. You know, Stan? He's in the back corner. Back corner. What are these people doing here anyway? Making just ice sculptures? That's a sculpture of a, uh, a bonfire or campfire. You know, Stan? Just past the tunnel. Past the tunnel. This one? Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> I like his outfit. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Then why has no one used it yet? But <laughs> I like how Stan looks. I like I like that the, I like that they I like the fact that they gave him a uh, uh, his hat uh, with the with the prison uh, uh, clothing colors and the stripes. Well, let's talk to Stan. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Mm, piracy. Pluracy, about 5 to 10. Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Well, piracy. Piracy. You got a raw deal, son. Everybody does that. It's barely even a crime. Yeah, I have but noticed. technically it is. And since you're here, I've got an idea to share with you. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Transparency. Together, mm. they could be life-changing. The chill of the Arctic combined with the blaze of the avant-garde. Nature, tamed by man, bent to his will with chisels and fire. These fine examples of neo-post-colonial abstract representationalism can turn a dining room into a banquet hall, a shack into a palace, a simple celebration into an earth-shattering once-in-a-lifetime event. They're limited edition masterpieces, made with all natural ingredients, and are 100% biodegradable. And they come with an expiration guarantee. They're engineered to transform continuously, uh, taking on... Stan, uh, not today. Don't wait too long, they're selling like hotcakes. Okay, did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. This place sure is quiet and cold. I'll th I think I'll poke around a little. So did you know that there's an escape tunnel? Did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Judicial order. 673rd Circuit Court, Bermuda. Judge, a blank presiding. It is hereby ordered that the defendant as Smiling Stan's as Stanman is to be remanded to hard labor at the Bermuda Ice Quarry for the unfortunately trivial term of one month. Okay. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd <laughs> probably be doing ten years. Well, luck, uh, l lucky for you. Tell me about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records... 
Well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. I think I know who, uh, who, whom he was talking about. He was talking about that one guy in that uh, in the Barrel Bones Island, whom we met in the last episode. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can handle the shackles until then. Hmm, okay, good for you. And we know the name of the accountant, Ned. <clears throat> Excuse me, it was Ned something. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. I know exactly where it is. I've just gotta get my hands on five golden keys. As soon as I get them all, the secret will be mine. Mine? Easy there, tiger. You don't want to start drooling in weather like this. Yeah. Might freeze solid while you're talking. And then where are you? In a prison work camp with your tongue stuck to your face like a big <laughs> pink boil, that's where. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that image, Stan. That was, a, that was a good one, Stan. Maybe the best joke in the game so far. Um, This place sure is quiet. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. Okay. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Okay, well, let's show him uh, the uh, Elaine Scurvy Flyer. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. Me, yeah, I'm not gonna uh, read all of this. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. Okay, so we have to... <clears throat> so we have... Either, either we have to help a stand to get to get out of the ice quarry, which I doubt, or we bring Elaine here, which I think is more likely. Because we also have the Elaine half of the picture that we can use to prove prove to, the, to show to the guard that hey, Elaine also knows Stan. Okay, anything else here? Um, I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Okay, anything else that I want to show him? Uh, there was this. Uh, Locksmith's propate order. Does he know anything anything about this? Apparently not. Oh, maybe I should have shown him to the judge. Now, I wonder. Oh, hey. Prison shackles. Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. Looks like a prisoner escaped. Probably through that tunnel. I can't pick them up. Okay. I just want to look around. A little bit. Because I haven't found a single trivia card for three episodes. It's quite insane. We found so many at the start of the game. But now... Oh, is that one? Oh, <laughs> no. I, th I, I thought that was a card or leather or something. But no, it's just a guy with a uh, be white beard. <laughs> okay. Crap. <clears throat> so anyway, like I, like I was saying. We found so many trivia cards at the early stage of the game. But now... I can't for the life of me find any. Encourage the prisoner. Art school graduate, huh? Mm, okay. Keep up the good work. Yeah, keep up the good work, folks. Keep up the good work. Okay, can we leave through this? And it takes us here. Okay. It's the secret tunnel to the ice quarry. Okay, interesting. We could also bring Elaine through this, I guess. 
Okay, but let's go and talk to Elaine. Hi. Hi. How was Terra Island? Hmm. How did you know I went there? How did you know I went there? You leave a bit of a trail sometimes. Hmm. Could you come to the ice quarry on Bermuda to talk with Stan about your pamphlet? Could you come to the ice quarry on Bermuda to talk with Stan about your pamphlet? Oh no, I couldn't possibly go there. Bad optics. He'll have to come here. It's a prison, though. Him not leaving is sort of the main idea. How long till he's out? A month. That's not so bad. Hmm. Are you sure you can't come talk to Stan at the ice quarry? Absolutely sure. He'll have to come here. Okay. For God, for God's sake, woman. Love you. You too. Hmm. Couldn't they just talk to each other by yelling, by yelling, by yelling at each other, uh, each other through the uh, secret uh, cave, the secret, <clears throat> the secret uh, escape tunnel? Well. Let's go and talk to Stan. Yeah, let's just go there through it's this It's the secret way. tunnel to the ice yeah, yeah. quarry. Go through it. Hey, Stan. Howdy, son. Hmm. Are you sure you don't want to... Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? What was the name of the accountant again? Remind me what you said about the lens. Lime marketing problem. Um, are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can handle the shackles until then. Remind me what you said about Elaine's lime marketing problem? She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Hmm, okay. We have to do something with this tunnel, I'm sure. Do I have anything that could help us? Oh, by the way, here's your toothbrush. Here, Stan. I think this is your toothbrush? Sweet gingerbread cake, that's old Bessie, all right. I'm much obliged. And that's it? You don't give, give us anything in, in return? Well, at least we have one item less in our inventory. That's something, I guess. Okay, so... <clears throat> what to do? How to get Stan and Elaine talk to each other? How to do that? Hmm. Are oh, we have to dress up as Elaine, maybe? Now what's in what's new in the in the to-do list? Become the queen, okay. Okay, so what else is there that what else is there that, that we need to do? So we can't try and uh, give these limes to the pirates in self quarantine, because <coughs> Elaine Scurvy Flyer isn't uh, selling the limes well enough. But we can't make we can't make Stan to we can't make Stan leave the prison, and we can't make Elaine to come here. So, what to do about that? And then there is the two contests. What should we do in order to beat, beat her in the contest of heartiness and seriousness? Do we know any good jokers? Anyone who knows how to make some good jokes? No one in particular comes to my mind. Read LeChuck's diary. Um, the double monocle. The gate key. Where did this go to? It's not a skeleton key, but I did find it stuck in a skeleton's chest. Oh well, yeah, it was for the gate in the Terror Island. Okay. Hmm. Now oh, we can fast travel like this too, just using the map. Okay, that's handy. Let's actually visit Ned. Hold it! Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. 
You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean... I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Stan is serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Simply no need. But he, but he will be out in a month. Hmm. So you confirm that you deny possession of Stan's records? What? Yes. I mean, no. I confirm nothing. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Hmm. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Okay, well, let's show him <clears throat> the judge's Ned. order on He's Stan's uh, sentence. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh, no. Take these records. Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda. They'll know what to do with them. It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we pick up this. Can we take this? Can I have the picture? Not now. I'm packing. Offer to help to pack. Can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. Should we? I mean, maybe we should convince Stan to leave the prison or the quarry uh, a little bit early, because if he doesn't, we will just show these documents to the judge, and then and then he it's will the serve. It's the secret tunnel to the ice core. And then he will self serve ten years instead. How about that, Stan? Mm, we can't sh um, apparently show it to him. Okay, I guess we are have to. Okay, so we. So we give this to the judge, the judge will give Stan 10 more years to serve, and then we convince Stan to escape at the quarry. Okay, so that's how it works. Your Honor, I submit this satchel bursting with incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. I can swear like a, a sailor if that helps. Can you, can you honor please cite this uh, statute requiring a sworn uh, affidavit in cases of as uh, statute, not statue. <clears throat> For the court, I can state that I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. Filigree. I don't think that's gonna fly. Council for the aggrieved withdraws the da damning exhibit. So that's that's such a courthouse mumbo jumbo to me. Legal stuff. I can swear like a sailor if that helps. Order, order in the court. Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. Hmm. Um. Will this work for the court? I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Threepwood Esquire. If I don't get order, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> so now we have to get Ned uh, here. Or we, or we have to prove them somehow that we are Ned somehow. Maybe he maybe he forgot his ID on the island or something. Weirdly, this island seems even smaller now that there's no one here. Hmm. Ah, he left his picture here. Okay, so I guess we have to. This is oh. Chef Putra's deep. <clears throat> ah, we have to do this. Or maybe. Wait, um, like this? Well, let's go and find out. <clears throat> what do you think about this picture? Now, this picture here. 
Order! Order in the court! I will have order! Do not waste this court's time by submitting incompetent, irrelevant, and immaterial evidence. Okay, um... How about like this? Order! Order in the court! No. I will have order! Do not waste this court's time by submitting incompetent, irrelevant, and immaterial evidence. Okay, um... Hmm... What to do with uh, Ned's picture? Oh, we have to maybe add an uh, actual document in there. Elaine Scurvy Flyer. Locksmith's probate order. Oh, can we show him this, by the way? I submit these official looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from Accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. Hmm, nice. Oh, I hey. have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we got the second golden key. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Hmm. I wasn't expecting to get, to get one of these keys in this episode. Well, maybe I was hoping that we get to become queen and then get this key, but... Uh, still. Okay, but... Uh, what to do about this? Hmm. Peek inside Ned's satchel. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. Mm. Can't combine it with this. So we have, have to either get Ned here, or we have to convince the judge that we are actually uh, Ned ourselves. Did Ned say, uh, did Ned say that 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 were that were where he's going. I don't think he did. <clears throat> I don't think he did. And I still don't know what to do about the bloaters and how to beat uh, how to beat the queen in the in the contest of seriousness. We don't have any good jokes on our, of our own, do we? No, I don't think so. Alright folks, I'm stumped. I don't know how to proceed from here, but that's fine. I'm gonna end this episode here. We have to, we have done some nice progress in this episode, so I'm happy with that. I mean, we got one of the golden keys. So now that we got two keys, we can negotiate with Whitey Bones here, who has one of the keys herself. So in the next episode, let's talk to her and ask if she's more willing to cooperate. And so we can possibly uh, get the secret together. Or we, just, or, or we just convince her to give us the key somehow. And we still have to figure out that what we're supposed to do uh, about these bloaters. Maybe we have to consume something ourselves so we can actually eat one of these spiced up uh, bloaters so we can beat the queen in the contest of heartiness. Then we have to learn a very, very funny joke for the contest of seriousness. And then we have to figure out that how we, that how we are supposed to make Elaine and Stan talk to each other so we can so we can uh, so we can enhance the where is it Elaine scurvy flyer so we can convince the uh, pirates in self quarantine to eat some limes to heal them from from scurvy yeah lots of things to do in the la in the next episode and if you have any ideas or suggest or suggestions that what to do let me know in the comments I do know that I have this hint book here, but hey, it's uh, it's it's much more fun to hear your ideas and speculations that that what that what the next step is. So with that, thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Return to Monkey Island.